guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And as you can see, I have two of the same deck here. This is the brand new mini that just came out. Uh, I forgot when it was coming out. I got it today. Um, I ordered it yesterday because I realized it had come out. And I'm looking it up now because I forgot what day it actually came out. Uh, astrology Oracle Herbal Astrology Oracle Many It's only 13 bucks on Amazon uh, And I just happened to be scrolling through there the other day And I'm like, oh yeah, it came out uh, Today's the 20th, it came out the 25th So Tuesday, Wednesday Tuesday Um <clears throat> it came out Tuesday in the mini. Um, this is by Adriana a a Yales, I guess. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Artwork by Josephine Kirks. This is the Herbal Astrology Oracle by Hay House. And here's the new mini that just came out the 25th of June. Today is, I don't know if I just said it, June 28, 2024. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to do a little side by side of it because I've already done a walkthrough of this. Um, and the inside of the box looks the same. All I did was take the plastic off this. I haven't actually opened it. And my cat is sitting right there watching me. <laughs> He's like, you're making a lot of noise. So yeah, the insides are identical. Just miniature. And I love that lavendery purple in there too. It's really pretty. Um, so there's the tops. And then we got the bottom, which is that same lavendery color. Same lavendery color. The box is a little bit different color here. But yeah. Same thing. Um, and this is the first time I've seen a Hay House a Mini that was not in a tin. It's in an actual box. Which I love it. Um, anyway. So then we have the book, which looks identical. Um, let's see. 209 pages. Let's just say. It's going to be a little bit more, because, less because it's bigger. 165. But I think it's the exact same book. Yeah. Exact same book, which is cool. Um, and then we have the cards here. And I did put all these back in order. Uh, uh, take that off. Look at that. It's so cute. It's the same exact card stock, too, which makes it, which is going to make it more shuffleable. It actually kind of gives a little light there on the sides there. That's interesting because it doesn't here. They're a little bit darker here, these edgings. And they're more matte. This has got a shine to it. That's weird. Anyway, here's the backs. Identical. And then the fronts. And I really just want to make sure that it's the exact same deck. Because I've done a uh, mini before. And it was some of the cards were changed. So, without further ado. We are looking at the Herbal Astrology Oracle here. So here we have the, I'm not even going to name the flowers just because I can't pronounce some of them, but it does have the flower and then below that a keyword, which I love. So I'll just read them off and as the keyword. Now this also has astrology symbols. This has the sun in it here, which you can see on both cards, the sun symbol for the planet or the sun. Okay. So here we have card one, purity. Two, St. John's wort, wort. Three, Rosemary. Yeah. And it is just starting to storm. It is 9.30 at night. Um, so if you hear thunder in the background, that's why. Uh, number four, Rue. Number five, Blue Lotus. 
Number six, Sage. Number seven, Paul de Arco. Actually, that's what I was going to do is read the keywords, and I've been reading the name. Uh, Metamorphosis. This is the card I pulled a lot with the, the bigger version when I was having a lot of female issues, which this herb, plant, whatever you call it, works for that. So, speaking from experience. <laughs> Number eight, trust. Oh, I just noticed the DNA strands here. And then we have the planet and the zodiac sign here. Interesting. Number nine, inner peace. We got the sun and the moon in there. And I love the daisies. Ten, psychic healing. Eleven, the beloved. Twelve, the love. Rose or love. The face here. Thirteen, mother wart. Strength. Fourteen, hibiscus joy. Fifteen, yarrow harmony. Sixteen, journey. Seventeen, higher consciousness. Eighteen, leadership. And here we actually have the astrological, what it looks like in the sky here. Interesting. With the scales. Number 19, Wealth. Twenty, Lavender. Twenty-one, Nettle or Action. I don't like that there's a snake and there's a bigger one here. We got number 22, Transfiguration. That reminds you of the Tower card, kind of. Twenty-three, Milk Thistle. Powerful or peaceful warrior. The milk thistles everywhere here lately. Number twenty-four offering. Twenty-five cat's claw. Twenty-six revival. Twenty-seven retreat. So you could use this as a regular oracle deck or as the astrology and herbal part of it component of it as well it's multifaceted number 28 wisdom 29 grace 30 is destiny 31 cannabis or detachment 32, Completion. 33, Teacher. 34, Sleepy. No, Shape Shifting. See if I get a little bit closer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, 35, Horsetail. Patience gorgeous. 36, Coco and Foresight. 37, Wisdom. Hold on. This one has a different name, Enchantment. And I think it's interesting because I had Wisdom earlier, didn't I? Hold on. They changed the keywords? I haven't even noticed. Have not even noticed. Just had wisdom, I thought. Maybe that's why this one got changed in here to something different. Yeah, Elder number 28 was wisdom. 
And then we got wisdom again here. Interesting. Let me look at uh, number 28 here. wisdom so it got changed in this card <clears throat> i'm not even paying attention to both of them so that is enchantment in this one interesting and it does make more sense because it's got the unicorn maybe this is a misprint and i don't know it hmm interesting interesting uh cacao number 38 initiation initiation okay number 39 ginkgo a break breakthrough number 40 ginseng magician 41 poppy and dream that's on both of them so far it's the only one i've noticed so maybe that was why that got changed in the small one 42, uh, Conduit. 43, Passion Flower, Surrender. Gorgeous. Number 44, Acceptance. 45, Mandrake and Sensuality. 46, Angel's Trumpet and Death. 47, skull cap and stillness. Get the Scorpio. Uh, 48 is community. That's beautiful. Uh, commune. Uh, 49 is commune. Commune. I love the mushrooms here. Another freaking snake. 50 is rebirth. 51 is Dragon's Blood and Anima Mundi. 52, Lemon Balm and Nature or Nurture. This would go good with the B Tarot, I bet. Well, that specific card. I don't know about the rest of it. 53, Dandelion Wounded Healer. And 54 is Purpose. And the last one is Palo Santo, number 55, and Guardian. So other than that little blip or change, they're pretty much the same. Same images and everything. This shuffle is beautiful because it's, you know, oracle size. Let's see how well this shuffles. Oh, it actually feels a little thinner. Maybe it is because it's smaller and it shuffles amazing. Wow. Way better than the full size shuffle set. The full size is a little bit thicker, so feels like. Okay, so let's pull a card. We already dropped one. It is the Elder and the Wisdom, the first one. Interesting. That's the one that fell out. Uh... Um, I, and I can tell you now, I'm not going to be able to read that until I'm, unless I'm right on the, uh, 28, unless I'm right on the, uh, 32, 30, 27, 28, wisdom, uh, cannot even pronounce that. Upright, right, rising from the underworld, release, letting go, major transformation, higher wisdom, new perceptions, awakening to the truth. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> yeah. Uh, reversal, stagnancy, sorrow, resistance to transformation, immortal, immoral, not applying lessons not widening the known not celebrate cultivating wisdom decay and negativity astrological astrological ruler jupiter and pluto 
also known as the Queen of Fairies or the Queen of the Underworld, Elder is steeped in folklore and legend across many cultures. This tree is a symbol of sorrow, death, and deep magic. Wow. <sighs> There's a lot more here. Um, I'm not going to go into any more just because it's, it's straining my eyes to read that. Um, but yeah, it's the same as the other deck. I just wanted to show y'all my new mini. Um, it's super cute. I'm so glad that it has a um, box. Let's look at the box here. So happy that it's in an actual box and not a tin. Because um, this store is better on the shelf. But I don't know that this will be going on the shelf quite a lot. Because um, <clears throat> I'm going to use it. <laughs> um, I feel like with that being called out just now uh, by the wisdom card the elder card um i can see this many being used more of a oracle deck versus the other one i use it more on the astrological side or try to understand more of the astrological and herbal tie-in together so this one could be like the oracle deck and just use it for those keywords and the other one can be for the herbal the learning part of the herbal and astrology together that makes sense to me so, yeah, that is my latest deck. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to comment below. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're loaded to any future videos. And y'all have a good night. Bye.